Hello friends, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to create the layout for the front end, so the Quest layout when we are not logged in. And I'm going to create a button to navigate. So when we are in the slash r slash community, I'm going to create a button to show if we are uh, logged in users. And when we click, we navigate to the slash community slash create a post also create a controller route and a request for the post to create a post so first let's create the uh, layout and what i'm going to do i'm going to so let's go inside the resources js layouts we have west layout here and the authentication i'm going to copy what we have here, select all, copy and paste in this one. Just we need to remove some. Uh, I'm going to remove this flash message from here. As the Google layout, we are not going to have that one. Also, we have this div. And this one I'm going to remove for the settings. Okay. And here we have the hamburger menu. And also here we have this response settings I'm going to remove as well. We have the header and we have the slot. Very good. Let's save now. And I want to also change the name here in the pages. We have communities, we have subreddits and communities here are on the back end. We use in the back end. Subreddits we use for the front end, but I'm going to create a new folder. So inside the pages, create new folder and I'm going to say front end and here create a, again a new folder for communities and there I'm going to paste this one, move it and this subreddit I'm going to delete. Okay, I don't want to have communities for the backend and subreddit for the front end because we have a two names for the same model okay so if we are also in the here in the controllers we have backend community and front end subreddit the two different names for the same thing so i want to make this clearly here we are going to work with community, so let's change the name here as well. Rename to be community controller, and we need to rename here. Also, let's rename this to be community community. and here now here instead of subreddits we need to render the front end communities show okay save And here now we're not expecting a subreddit, but community. So let's select this and say community here, save. And I'm also I'm going to say community here for now because we are going to change that. And let's refresh. A uh, subreddit controller does not exist because we need to change the route, web route. Instead of subreddit controller, we need to say 
community controller from the front end. And let's save it and let's remove this one because we don't have now. Refresh. Okay. Now, where is the problem? Go to the console and yeah. We need to say here communities. Very good. Now if I navigate in the slash Laravel, yeah. Let's go in the show view and here I'm going to add the Guest layout now. So let's import, sorry, down there, import Guest layout from add slash layouts slash quest view and now let's wrap that with quest layout cut and paste it inside save come here yeah now we have the dashboard and the communities In here now, when we navigate to the communities, I don't want to show this one because it's protected. I want to show all the communities we have in the database. Okay. But for now, let's leave it as it is. And if we navigate in the slash r slash Laravel. Okay. I want to make this in the center. So let's go again in the quest.view. We have this page heading and this mine, I'm going to say add the class with max with the B7 Excel and MX auto. Yeah, now we are here. Let's add also margin top to be six and yeah, now we are okay. Now let's add the button to create the post if we are logged in as uh, if we are authenticated. So create a layout and create the button. Okay, so in the show here, I'm going to add a div with class flex justify and okay, and let's say margin two and padding two, and here. I'm going to add that button. So and then I'm going to say not button, I'm going to say link with the shref to be a route. And we need to create that route, but for now let's leave it as it is. Let's just say something like this. Okay, and let's add a class with uh, PX3 PY4 and let's say a rounded BG, let's say Indigo 500. And I'm going to say create post. Let's save it. And why we don't have, ah, yeah, we need to import the link 
from the view inertia so let's say import link from the inertia view 3 and now we have this create post here very good now i want to hide this if the user is not logged in we are not logged in right now so for that what we can do we can check if we have a user so right because in the share inertia we have the user if i go in the view inertia we have props and we have auth user is null we can check if the auth user is null hide and if it's not null show or other way what i'm going to do is i'm going to go inside the middleware and handle the inertia request here when we have this uh, auth user i'm going to add one more and i'm going to say uh is login or what we can say here let's say is is login and this is going to be with out check okay if the out is login so we can out check or also we can say here out check like this yeah i think it's more okay so save now and in the show view here when we display the link i'm going to say v if we need to get the out user out check okay the shared inertia so dollar sign page dot props out user but out and what we name it out check so let's copy this and paste it here if i save and let's go we don't see now you can see here and if i let's navigate and go and log in okay let's log in here very good let's go now in slash r slash laravel and now as you can see we have this create post okay we protected that the button now let's create the controller the route and the request for the post so i'm going to open the terminal and i'm going to say php artisan make controller and this is going to be the backend controller i'm going to say community post controller also i'm going to create the request so php artisan make request and i'm going to say store post request very good we create the controller the request we need to create the route now so let's go inside the roads web route and this route is going to be inside the auth verified so we need to be logged in and also verified if we need to create a new post and here 
we can say I'm going to copy this and paste it here and say communities dot posts and uh, what we named the controller community post controller community post controller like this if i save and let's open the terminal and see now the route list so artisan route list i'm going to hide that one and now as you can see we have dashboard communities community and also dashboard communities community and post for the get post for the post and as you can see here the controller is community post controller and the road is communities dot, dot post dot store this we need to use for the form and this we need for the uh, page so now inside the view in the link we can say road communities dot posts dot create and we need the community here okay and we have the community so we can say community dot slack if i save and let's go here refresh everything okay now if i click here we don't have the create method in the post controller but the route is working okay friends that's it about this video and the last one what we need we need to push to the github as always just to have everything correct so let's say git add git commit uh, create layout i'm going to say and let's say git push very good friends everything okay now let's see you in the next video all the best